Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the mighty Akim and Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic, you know, I'm just gonna go into a video. This video I was um, I just saw, uh, but from the um. Prophets in Babylon. Okay, go have to go check him out in his video. Uh, I know he he just did a video on it. Did a lesson, and you know I really just had to hop in as well because, like, it, just hearing about this, it hurt me personally. I it resonated with my spirit because this is the type of stuff. I am a very, very like overly cautious person especially when it comes to like protecting people I, I i i i will always like say and do all these extra steps in order to make sure you know someone is taken care of and someone is safe but sometimes just the people around me they don't care enough or they just don't care at all and they will just say oh whatever who cares just leave it it'll be fine so this, hearing this, it it it, it was like a uh, it, it was like hearing feeling a jolt of thunder strike me on my insides. It hurt. It really did hurt. You can look at the title very clearly. It says New Orleans mother stabs her four year old and two year old children, blames everything on their father. Now I don't know the full story i don't know why she's blaming it on the father but i from what we are going to hear it sounds like the father was just trying to take his children if she didn't want her children if she didn't if she felt like it was too much of a burden why the fuck are you keeping them from their father why you wicked bitch like okay I actually need to I have to learn more this this is ridiculous Four-year-old daughter, two-year-old son. I have no, I don't feel sorry in the slightest bit for the woman. I only feel grief for the father. He tried to save his children and the Okay, let me just let, let's let the thing play. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with life. It is all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Charged with second degree murder, attempted murder, and second degree cruelty to a juvenile, New Orleans police say 31 year old Janae Pedesco sta stabbed her own kids, killing one of them. Police were called to a home in the 3100 block of Law Street around 11 o'clock Sunday morning. When they got there, they say they were told two siblings, a two-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl, were stabbed and taken to the hospital. The girl later died. The boy is in critical condition. Moments after allegedly stabbing her kids, a woman believed to be Podesclo posted a short video on Instagram with blood dripping down her chest. Court records show Podesclo and the children's father, Jermaine Roberts, were in a custody battle. Roberts even sued Podesclo for visitation rights, claiming she was not stable or providing a healthy environment for the kids. Father, Jermaine Roberts, were in a custody battle. Roberts even sued Podesclo for visitation rights. Do you hear that? He said they said he sued the father sued the mother because she was fucking up his ability to be able to see his kids. And that's another thing that I heard. 
these bitches. Okay, and it's not the crazy thing is, this isn't just Jake. It's Esau too. There are Edomite fathers who get hoed in seeing their children. And then the mothers build up or raise their kids to hate their father. When it was the mother that was that's lying to the kids, saying their father doesn't want to see you. Their mother's lying to their to their kids, saying, "Oh, he left and he didn't he just didn't want to deal with any, deal with you anymore." When the mother stopped, the mother did all the mother has to say in court is say say, "Oh, he did X, Y, and Z. He literally did anything. He is unfit." And then. That is the end of that's the end all be all. The father will not see his kids. Okay. Thankfully I've never gone through this, but I have the benefit of hearing all these um stories, okay, and not having to go through it. And I I I, I do empathize with them. I do empathize. I see, you know, the the wickedness of the women, all right. But, like, you know, ultimately this is all judgment, okay. So, you know, not let's not. I'm I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself, but just the fact that this is happening, pure wickedness. These women just are going crazy. But for Jake, especially Jake, he tried to see his kid children. He tried. To fight the custody battle, which was which is an uphill battle, and then he wanted to get his children, and look what happened. Claiming she was not stable or providing a healthy environment for the. He already knew ahead of time. Okay, and this is I'm my I feel lightheaded because I'm trying to stay calm. All right, he already knew she was a threat to the safety of the children. He told that. They they just reported that he that he told them that. And then what happened? What the hell just happened? This this happened. One of the children died and the other one is in critical condition. Alright. This is fucking ridiculous. Kid. I, I can't believe it. I my head hurts. I feel lightheaded. My like the reason the main reason why I wanted to do this video is because I really wanted to express my grievances, my anger in this type of situation. Okay? Like I said, I was I'm a very I'm a very cautious person and when you hear someone else just not care and disregard your concerns for such for a matter th this is enraging okay now okay this is all the stuff we already know it's from people.com Look at this bitch crying. Look at this bitch crying. Why is she crying? What do you have to cry about? What? Oh my god. Nothing. There's, they don't even they don't even say what she why she was saying all this she just did it there's no there's no reason i'm not trying to justify but i want to hear what could compel you what could possess you to be doing something so horrible if you didn't care for the kids give them to the father the father was trying to look out for them and you did this Really? And that this is that whole misery loves company thing. If if you can't 
be happy if you can't be satisfied with yourself instead you take away the per- you take away the lives of the children of to get back at the at the father does shit does not make any sense at all whatever then then if i can't fi- hear the the other side then fuck the bitch fuck her uh, no Oh my god. I mean, calm down. That's judgment. That is ultimately at the end of the day is judgment. But let's get into this. Now let's get into the main issue which is how could this have been prevented? Okay? And it, it could have been prevented if you know this world wasn't favoring women so much, okay? Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2 when righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay, so the people that are in charge, okay, they may they mold this world to be a woman centric world to base it around women. Okay, these people, these people, <coughs> it's like these women feminists, whatever. They want to say that, oh, this is a man's world. This is everything revolves around the man. When that's a fucking lie. All right. It's an absolute lie. You you have women in dating that get it, that have it easy. You have women that can just go choose to go. Uh, what's the word? Go get a career and whatnot. You have women that are able to just find a man and that man will provide and take care of her and then if if oh fuck one second Slocky about that. Someone's at the, my door now. Um, where was I? Okay. Uh, I was about, talking about how. Uh, oh yeah, this is a, the feminists and all this stuff like that. Same as man's world. So, um, when in that, in that aspect, you know, you have, um, everything like, and even in the, the whole uh, custody battle thing, um, nine times out of ten or most times the women already have the advantage unless there's like some criminally damning you know evidence and stuff like that and that's when um criminal criminally damning dam, damning evidence towards the woman and that's when the uh, man actually has a chance and obviously there are uh it's you know based on what type of judge i guess uh, or whatever but uh outside of that it's usually favoring the women and um you know stuff like you know that reminds me of um uh Kanye what the fuck was that guy's name Pete Davidson Pete yeah Pete Davidson um okay what the hell is <laughs> so okay basically the general story of what happened here um this guy Pete Davidson let me actually you know just show it uh, Pete Davidson tattoo tattoo Kim's kids not Kim's kids it's Kanye's kids Pete Davidson has a fucking tattoo of um uh what Northwest whatever those odd, ridiculously named um things are names are um what is it 
okay, whatever. Just the, the fact that this says, um, you know, this, you can tell it, it's, it's good enough. So, um, yeah, this guy had gotten tattoos. And when I heard this, you know, obviously I don't, I don't necessarily mess with Kanye West or any, um, so-called black celebrity for that matter. But, you know, just hearing this, I empathize and I can understand, you know, this is actually, this is very, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. And he knows that. He knows that he sees that this is wrong. Yet, you have her who is, you know, perpetuating this wickedness. All right. And, you know, this guy got a freaking tattoo. He was seen alone with, um, what's it called? One of one of Kanye's daughters like this this is this is straight wickedness and honestly like Kanye um I was he hearing a lot of people saying that Kanye is you know playing it smart trying to hold back and not say anything so that he can go and fight this custody battle and show all these things that you know that is, that have happened in in the custody of Kim Kim of Kim Kardashian so that he can win his custody battle and actually get his kids and be able to keep his kids because you know he w he wants to show that you know she is unfit to be um to take care of him okay his kids are in danger and like I would do if I was in Kanye's position or in this man um what's it called Jer Jermaine Jer Jerome whatever his name was Roberts position i would do anything in order to get you know my kids into safety all right now first timothy chapter 2 verse 12 but i suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp the authority over the man but to be in silence so the primarily thing you want to look at is usurp authority over the man so you know in this society women have all the power Okay, they manipulate men all the time. I mean, obviously, yeah, there are instances, but in what we're talking about today, we're talking about how generally, you know, women have most of the power and then they abuse their power and you have a whole bunch of just horrible things going on. All right. Now, um, who and who, and who gives them that power? All right. Job nine twenty four. The earth is given given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. So, again, the earth, the wicked. Okay, the wicked is the one who sets up the society as it is now. And you have all these, all these. Um, one of the things I hate hearing is, uh, we, 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 we grew out of that outdated way of thinking that outdated dated society where they they say that the old way of living quote unquote is outdated and we need to get with the times and what and whatever that's the dumbest fucking thing i've ever heard in my life it's a stupid i i am very like I, i'm very angry i always get angry hearing that type of that type of stuff okay you can't say it's an outdated way of thinking when look at the look at the wickedness that's gone on that's going around okay you have the wickedness of you know people changing the way that they were born all right they're saying oh i i was born a man but i felt like i was i always felt like i was a woman so they go cut off their dicks <laughs> let me <laughs> let me watch what i'm saying they cut off their rod and then they go undertake fucking hormone and whatever and you have other oh actually i don't think i can say that but um they also have uh what else um they also have um the fact that so if 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 it's outdated way of thinking okay then what about is it okay to kill so people say uh, you know thousands of years ago it's not okay to kill people just for no reason okay so that means that oh to get with the times we need to go around and killing people for no reason all right like that that's stupid okay these people like there's no foundation there's no real foundation 
that doesn't come from an old source of thinking. You can't say that you're going to make your own morals, make your own morals and, you know, think of what's good and what not. When all this, all this, that's, um, what's it called? All the quote unquote morals that, um, that they thought of, quote unquote, has come from, you know, people from, not, from, not Slakia, Slakia, uh, I misspoke. That has come from, you know, what we've been taught down the line and ultimately from the most high. All right. And, uh, yeah, the it's just uh the world being filled with wickedness and Esau primarily flooding the world and trying to spread it across the whole world. All right, Jeremiah chapter ten verse two, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, learn not the way of the heathen, as in don't don't it's like you don't go um don't go you know taking. Slaki, don't go um, thinking thinking that this is the way we need to go act the same way society is. We need to go play their game. That, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to hold fast to what we know is righteous. And what we know is righteous is following after the words of the Most High Yahweh. All right? That's what we're supposed to, you know, hold on to. Okay? Now, finally... John fifteen nineteen. If ye were of the world, the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. Okay, so that that's one of the reasons why you know he 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 couldn't get his kids. That was one of the reasons why you know he lost that custody. Well, not I don't know if he lost it, but he lost his one of his children. Okay, he had this bad thing happen. Okay, because the world. Is in the favor of the wicked. Okay. The world hates the righteous. Alright. And we know. that we sh We've seen all these things that prove. That the, the wicked are in rule. Alright. The people are mourning. There are so many people mourning. Okay. The, that's, that's one of the signs. That we're under wicked rule. Alright. Uh, where is it? Over here. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right. The wicked rule the world right now. This world is messed up. On, only it is it is literally. You cannot say that it is not. In the hands of the wicked. When the, the man he told them she was unfit. She they he, he told them. She was messing up he, uh, with him being able to see his children. He told him all that. And he still was unable to get his children. They still favored the mother. They still let the mom keep the kids. And just... And just allowed this wickedness to happen. When they got there, they say they were told two siblings, a two-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl, were stabbed and taken to the hospital. The girl later died. The boy is in critical condition. Moments after allegedly stabbing her kids, a woman believed to be Podesclo posted a short video. Jermaine Roberts were in a custody battle. Roberts even sued Podesclo for visitation rights, claiming she was not stable or providing a healthy environment for the kid. Bro, see it... Only in this society can someone warn you of an impending doom and no one cares until after it happens. After it happens, then that's when we care. After it happens, then we're going to make, make, uh, we're going to try to, you can't do anything. It already happened. It's over. Bro, this whole quote-unquote justice system is fucking garbage. It's literal trash. It's dog water. All right? These people, these devils, they don't care to fix things. When something happens, that's when they want to do something. After someone dies, 
after a tr a tr uh, atrocity happens, then they want they want to do something. Not before. They it's not to prevent. There's nothing that they have nothing to prevent. It's only to react to the atrocities that have that that have happened. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 28 which yet my soul seeketh but I find not one man among a thousand have I found but a woman among all those have I not found there is no righteous woman among a thousand in that sample size and by extension it it means that there is no such thing as a righteous woman all right all these women are wicked as hell this this is this is another example. This is another example of the shit that they are capable of doing. All right, this this is just honestly speaking as a man, I I do feel sorry for him. I really do. But again, I don't want to let it just get it un, get it misconstrued. It's his judgment ultimately. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And with that, I want to say Shalom.